Good day everybody, my name is Milan and today I'm going to teach you how to properly format your drive and your partitions. So now I've plugged in my USB stick and if I type part and find this create hard uh, create a format hard disk partitions, you will find disk management from Windows. The only problem I'm having is that there are not many options and paying for them would be very annoying because if you only have to do this once, it's not that great. So if I right click right here on the health partition, I can't really do anything. It's actually locking me out of doing anything. If I right click here, I can delete this volume on my USB stick. And if I want to merge these, there is no option for that. So for example, I want to merge all my storage together in one partition. It's not possible. So for today, I have a program for you guys called Mini2 Partition Wizard, and it's completely free. Most of the features you're probably going to use are free. And if you could consider, you could go pro. They have data recovery and everything like that. And if you download it, then go to your downloads folder. You will find it right here. I'm just going to double click on it and then we can install this program by clicking on yes. This is giving permissions with administrative privileges. And here we can choose the language. Let's click on OK. Here we actually have the setup. This is what we're going to install. We're going to get the free edition, which gives you basic disk partition management, which is a lot more than the Windows disk management. It's not the basic features of that. It has possibilities to combine partitions together and everything like that. You can see this right here. Migrate OS, it's not possible. Copy OS disk and everything like that. For example, data recovery is only possible if you have the Pro Edition. If you click right here, and this video is sponsored by Mini Tool Partition Wizard, you can actually find that they have many features that the free version doesn't. So if I click here on Field Difference Only, I can see that the free version doesn't contain anything compared to the others, which is of course why they're comparing it right now. It says the Pro Edition has everything, the annual subscription, except data recovery. If you scroll down right here, you also find that recover lost and deleted partitions. That's also not possible. Actually also data recovery, kind of. And if we scroll down here, you will see that it has every single feature and Windows Server additions compare working environment. This is what they of course have compared it to. But for normal users, you could assume that your own Windows is completely safe with this program or I mean that it completely works. For the rest, it's just 59 bucks per year because it's an annual subscription and then you have your data recovery and everything like that if you need that. For the rest, let's go on to the video. If you click on continue installing free edition, you can actually use the basic disk partition management. Let's click here on next. After doing this, you will see two options or actually three, but these ones I'm going to talk about for now. The mini tool partition, partition wizard is actually the program you're going to use to change your partitions. And Mini2 Shadow Maker is going to be used to do disk data recovery. So I'm only going to select Partition Wizard for today. This is because I have to change some partitions on my USB stick. Let's, if you want to participate in their ULA, if you want to participate in their Custom Experience Improvement Program, you can do this. They just ask you a few questions and then you can improve the program what you have thought of it, what your experience is. So let's click here on next. Here is of course the location. Let's just click on next. I have already installed it, of course, because I use this program all the time. If I have to change any single partition, I've done this for five, six years in the IT department and I couldn't live without this program. Of course, there are many other programs, but this one gave the most and it's free. So let's click here on yes. If you haven't installed it, you can continue and you see this screen. It's very fast with installing. That's also why I like to use it. And now we can click here on launch by clicking here on finish. It will take you to the page if you want to consider for the pro version, but this has to be considered by yourself. Let's click here and start the program. Let's click on yes by the administrative privileges. And after doing this, it has been launched. It tells you that <laughs> it's an error. It's probably with me. And here you have a message. You can actually click on here on do not show again, unless you want to consider to go pro, but it's only when you need that. For example, here, I can actually change a lot more things to my partition. This is exactly the same as disk management. Here you see my disk management. This is my old drive and this is my OneDrive, which is actually my Windows. And this is my USB. The same is here, but it's just a different number because Windows is weird. 
And here we have disk 1 and disk 2. I can actually change things on my own USB stick if I want to do it right now. For example, move and resize. This can actually only be done if you have some storage available. So let's say I would delete this and then click here on delete. You can actually select here the partition and then move and resize. And you can actually only do this after you click apply. Everything you change is only changed after you click apply. This is way safer than Windows because if I would delete the volume here and if I click yes, it immediately deletes everything. Very dangerous. So I would even say that this is better for beginners. There are a lot more options. I can agree with that. It's more difficult to know about. But I can also click on undo and my partition is back. It never changed. I can also click here on merge, which is the option I was talking about. Pretty sure I saw it here. Yeah, I saw it here on the other petition. If you click here on merge, you can, for example, merge a few things together. Select the petition with expand. That's just this one. And then, oh, it's a, you can only do this with NTFS. So this can only be done on the disks you have worked on on your computer. This is a USB stick and also a different format. Other video. It can only be doing, done with NTFS drive, for example, my Windows drive. I should be able to merge it. There you go. What you shouldn't do, don't do any of this. I'm just showing you that it works. Here you go. And then with another drive. Why is this also factor 32? Okay. Uh, for example, with your NTFS main drive, you can combine this and then it just turns into one drive. All data is saved, which is great because for, let's say, for example, you have split this up. Let's move and resize by clicking here. Click on OK. This is unlocated space. Let's say that I've allocated this. Let's create something. Let's call it storage. You have a storage partition on your computer, which means that here on Windows, you see multiple drives. These are called partitions, actually. And here you can uh, see all your partitions. For example, I should be able to see storage after I change this. Don't change any of this while your computer is running. Um, I mean, you can do it, but it can risk destroying Windows. Don't do it, please. But if I change this, I should be able to see storage. Some people have this separately on a computer called data or storage. If you want to combine this with your main OS, which I should recommend you do, you can do this, but every single program you install is going to your C drive and not to your extra drive. So if I combine this, so let's say click on merge and then go back to my own drive. So the Windows drive, you can actually combine this. I'm not going to click on it right now. Just because it's going to change because it has to merge things and it takes time. It takes some time. But this is going to combine your data drive and your Windows drive together. Like I said, Windows, everything you install, games, apps, all is going to be installed on your Windows. You want to do this if you have a storage drive. Do know that everything in that folder, for example, I have some things here. For example, my Windows 11 Dutch or English, doesn't matter. And if I combine it with my Windows, it's going to be here. So it's going to be in C drive and it's going to be available here. It's not going automatically to your Dallas folder desktop. If you combine it, it will be available here. You just have to drag it from this, for example, to your own desktop, just like that. That's how it's going to be merged. All your data is going to be safe. It's going to be here. Don't think it got deleted. So that's not the only thing. You can also right click right here and convert an MBR disk to GPD disk. Sometimes you have to install Windows and there are some problems with starting up because your system is newer or older. My system is a GPT system. This is a new system. If I put this in an old computer, it's a possibility it won't even start up. So sometimes you have to convert this back to MBR and all your data will be safe. So that's great. I'm just going to undo that because I don't want to change anything on my Windows drive. Like I said, risks are possible. So there are many things here. You can also do data recovery. Eventually, if you have the pro edition and you have lost your data, this means that it says that it's corrupted or you can't change anything on the drive. This is why you should probably do it. I do recommend you can try this, but that you actually contact a data recovery company. Data is very valuable. Anything you have installed on your computer could have rewritten everything on your drive. So this possibility is already gone. Do it as fast as possible. Let anyone else do it than your own computer because your own computer can rewrite things and the data recovery won't even work. 
but I'm not sure of that. Just contact data recovery companies. You can also use the data recovery if you know what you're doing. For example, you're in an IT department and you have to repair computers. Well, I've talked a long time about this, but what I usually do is, for example, I have to clear a disk. I just have to right click right here. Then I can delete all partitions, which doesn't really do anything. It actually only deletes repetitions and people can still recover the data, which is dangerous. Let's wipe the disk. This is what we want to do. We want to fill it with as many zeros and ones as we want. You can also do this. It's going to take too long. I think even days. This takes at least, yeah, I don't know, a lot of hours, but it's not going to take days. If you change to fill sectors with zeros and ones, you will actually really remove all the data and nobody can recover it. How they used to do it before this program exists and everything is a hard drive and just a hammer. They just destroyed the whole thing. But yeah, USB stick is made out of a chip, which is different. And you can still recover a lot of things. So if I click here on OK, I'm going to remove everything on my USB stick and nobody else can recover it, which is very secure. Windows doesn't have this option and only lets you delete, for example, your petitions. You can also format it. Yes, you can. You can click here on format, which is not the same. It just fills it with anything different. It's not that strong. I don't know what it is, but just comment down below because I give the information that I do know about. Always correct us, please. And if subscribe and like if you haven't yet, where you're going down there. This is not the only program. This is not the only program I've been using for many years. If you want to know more about those, I actually have a playlist. It's called best apps of all time. I'm actually calling it this because I've been using it for years. And I do want to give the best advice that I can give. So please consider subscribing and liking this channel because it takes some time to get these things right. I don't want to give you the most average app. I just want to give you apps that I think that are the best. I reevaluate everything that I see and how I use it myself. It's different for everyone, but I think that these are the best for you. I want to thank Minitool for sponsoring this video because now I got to show the program I've been using on my work every single day. I had to change partitions, I have to remove them, I had to wipe disks just because we had to keep them because someone else didn't want it anymore. Very annoying because there are legal requirements you need to do before you can keep someone else's hard drive. You can't keep the data. If it's stolen, you're effed. I'm saying you really are. It's the, the world is scary. So if you're filling in with zeros and ones, you should be very safe. It can still be hacked, but at least the chances are very low. And to thank you so much for watching. Comment down below if you haven't yet, because I would like to react and respond. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.